What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode. Now, last time we left off, as you guys can see, we have the Indominus Rex laid down in this enclosure over here. That was originally for the uh, Megalosaurus, and uh, he just got out of the uh, hospital over there. He had like something like he swallowed something from attacking the ranger chiefs or something like that so <laughs> he's back up to 100 percent right now which is good now this episode as you can see on the bottom right hand corner we're really close to finishing up the scenario here for chaos theory jurassic world we just need to get one more dinosaur species and then reach a park rating of five stars we already got the three million dollars in the bank and 1500 yeah we have like two thousand guests or something like that so we're way above that which that's wrong uh this one yeah, how many? Yeah, we have 2,100 guests. There's that 21 number again, right? But income per minute, we need to hit a million to hit that five stars right there. And we're at 927,000. I did deactivate off camera between episodes. I did deactivate some of the shops over here that were not bringing in any money. I don't know if that's going to help out a little bit. Like this one was like, it was losing like $10,000 per minute or something like that. This one was losing like $6,000 per minute, I think. Uh, I might just demolish them or something like that. I don't know. Just because these shops are super close to these shops over here, so they're kind of cannibalizing each other's uh, profits and stuff like that, right? So uh, that kind of sucks. As well as if we look at the management views over here, like this area right here is blood red for drinks, food, and shopping. So I'm really thinking about maybe putting some shops uh, right here. And of course, uh, later on this episode, we're going to be putting, I think we're going to be putting a plesiosaur in this enclosure. Got a few comments, suggestions from some of you guys saying to put the plesiosaur over there. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. As well as uh, between episodes, I did uh, process some more fossils over here. I do believe the Geostombergia is a, it is a viable genome right now. And I did go on another expedition to go get the last 2% of the uh, Gigantosaurus fossils down there. That's what that Can Candel Candeleros formation, that's what that is down there. So hopefully here in a little bit less than two minutes, we're actually going to get the remaining genome for the Gigantosaurus. Uh, see, this is going to take it up to 96% right there. And then this one right here, He's going to take it up to 98. So, yeah, that, that kind of sucks there. That kind of stings. But let me get the rest of the Geostombergia over here as well. Okay, well, the Geostombergia is going to get to 83%. So, it, you know, it's pretty close up there. We could do like, yeah, actually, yeah, whenever the uh, Gigantosaurus team comes back from there, they could process the two Gigantosaurus fossils and the rest of the Geostombergia. And I don't know, I feel like we might need to go on another Geostombergia uh, expedition. I, I guess I'll check that here in just a bit. But let's process those fossils in about a minute and 11. And like I said, I guess we'll get some shops over here because they are really wanting some. And you need to hit that five stars for uh, that part of the mission right there. So, uh, drinks. Shopping doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So I think I'm going to focus on the food and the drinks here. And I guess we'll put them right next to, if not like across the... Because I don't know if we're actually going to end up building a lagoon over here, honestly. I don't know. We could. I'll still try and slip up like right there, just like we did over here. Put the shops like right there between the uh, pathways and stuff. Can I fit them there? I don't think we ever tried that with a medium of energy. We have to do it like sideways, not like that. Like, uh, is going to let me do this? Ah, man. That oh, wait. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Let's 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 do it the other way around. Let's do it like this. There we go. Awesome. So now we got food here. Let's do the same thing for a drink. Let's, let's see if we can squeeze a pathway here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, oh, I, I can, but it has to be like kind of a weird path like that. <laughs> okay, well, at least it fits, right? So that's it. Uh, let, let's get another pathway or uh, another medium amount in here. Well, there's a pylon there, so I don't know if it could fit. Yeah, see, so it's obstructed by the pylon. So uh, let's do it like this. So we're kind of facing back to back, I suppose. There you go. Oh, whoops. I forgot to change it over, but uh, we can do that right now. And then uh, this and Gigantosaurus. Yep, 98% plus 2%. We're going to hit 100% there, you guys. Awesome. And another Justin Burger right there. Oh, man, another 2% away. 82 per. Hold on. Yeah, it's Turan on. Turan on. Turan on. Oh, my gosh. I'm like cursed, you guys. This is going to hit 98%, just like the uh, Gigantosaurus over here. <laughs> Gigantosaurus. Oh, I guess I guess we'll go on another expedition. It's not that big of a deal, but at least we're going to finish the Gigantosaurus. Get that finished. And once that's actually finished, I guess we'll sell the T-Rex that we currently have instead of just waiting for it to die of old age, right? So we can do that. And uh, Genetic Specialist, sure. There you go. Make that go by as fast as possible as well. Let's go on another expedition too. Not there. We need to go to the Geostromberg uh, Tyrannon. Yes, right here. Yeah, we have a lot of terrain on a uh, genome right there, so I need to process that. And maybe we can make some of those as well. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And of course, those are all going to replace the Dimorphons because those are starting to die out. We only have like three of them left or something like that, right? So anyways, let's go on this expedition right here. We can go by as fast as possible. There you go. Down to two minutes right there. Not bad. Cool. Uh, we have 15 million in the bank. Yeah, you know what? Uh, well, I just assigned a bunch of scientists to do stuff right there. I don't know if we're able to do that one uh, research, which that's the wrong one, uh, to get like better accuracy or whatever for... Rangers and all that kind of shit. Yeah, so we staff busy. We only have 10 uh, logistics right now. We need to get 16. So uh, that kind of sucks right there for. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the wrong one. Is that? 
Hey, yeah, yeah, response facility, advanced training. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, we need uh, five more right there. So I guess we'll wait for the uh, expedition and all that kind of stuff to come back. But at least we have this set up over here. We got Boba. Let me make sure we get the maximum amount of money over here from this. And there you go. Okay, cool. Oh, you guys, we hit five stars. I didn't even notice that. Look at that five out of five right there. Now, we, now all we need to do is get one more uh, species, which we're going to go on an expedition for here in just a bit. Uh, did I mention this yet? I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but you guys left some comments suggesting we get a plesiosaur. So that's going to be pretty fun. Now, it is a relatively large critter. I don't, I don't know how long it's going to be compared to the uh, mosasaurus over here. Uh, but hopefully this lagoon over here is going to be fine for it. Also got some comments saying to get the ichthyosaurus. If we can't put the plesiosaur over here, I guess we could maybe put the ichthyosaurus over there. Maybe we could see, uh, hold on, let me check on this guy real quick. The uh, megalod or uh, mosasaur, <laughs> Me megalodon. That's crazy if we can get a megalodon, but uh, let's see. I don't think he's going to be friendly with anything, is he? Uh, yeah, he likes marine uh, marine reptiles small, but dislikes marine reptiles large. So I guess maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe he could uh, coexist with the ichthyosaurus. I assume that counts as a small marine, right? So we are at the five stars right now. How much money are we making? A, a million forty-eight thousand income per minute, you guys. Amazing. We're doing so well, you guys. This is awesome. I guess I'll keep looking at the management views and all the kind of jazz. See if there's anything else that needs to be taken care of over here, like shelter coverage, restrooms, all that kind of jazz, you know? Uh, we need restrooms over here. I thought it. Oh, yeah, we had a restroom here beforehand, but I got rid of it whenever I uh, expanded this out. <laughs> of course, the Indominus destroyed another heckin' Jeep over here. Golly. Is the Indominus uh, injured? I bet he is. He always gets injured. Yeah, he's got a broken claw. <laughs> well, it's a minor. Okay, it's a minor injury. Did I assign a MVU over here, by the way? Uh, response facility back hospital. Did I assign them over here for them to automatically? Oh, I guess I never did. Yeah, there you go. Boom. So, yep, back mobile vet unit number two has been dispatched automatically to deal with that problem. Okay, cool. I was just making sure right there. I knew I might have forgotten about that. So, uh, speaking of uh, rangers, I guess we'll resupply them on fuel because they keep running out of fuel because every jeep that they get just gets ex exploded and destroyed. <laughs> and then they lose all that fuel in there, right? So, let's see. Korean barbecue, 35000 27000 from the smoothies. Amazing money there, you guys. It's crazy because there's, there's shops right there and then just across the street or just across the lagoon, there's even more shops there. So, it's kind of crazy. But uh, we're bringing in tons of money right now, you guys, which is absolutely awesome. And by the way, sounds like I just, uh, whoops, that's wrong. Oh, I do want to pull this up anyways. But I do want to uh, process those fossils because they just came back from that expedition. And now I want to figure out where the plesiosaur is on this oh here we go there's ichthyosaurus and then there's plesio okay seven minutes there five minutes 30 i guess we'll do this one and then the wow why does the ichthyosaurus cost so much a million golly i guess we'll do the plesiosaurus that'd be pretty fun or yeah you know what let's get the seven minutes right there yeah we don't have faster expeditions we have cheaper expeditions which is good especially for that one that's cost like 1.1 million right so that's going to save us a ton of money uh, I guess the only way to get faster expedition is just getting some really uh, qualified scientists. So this is going to be done in a minute, 33, costing 420000 So that's going to be great. Uh, saving a little bit of money right there, 30%. So that's good. And let's use some other scientists to take care of these fossils over here. So we have Justin Berger, the last 2% right there. Then we have just some leftover Tyrannon fossils right there. Okay, I guess we'll uh, process those anyways, right? So uh, hold on. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of this one and get this one instead. And then this one. Oh, wait, hold on. Oops, that's wrong. Yeah, I already had that selected. Whoops. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll get this anyways, and we'll have to turn it up to 53% right there. Amazing. So let's assign scientists here, and let's start incubating or synthesizing the Gigantosaurus so we can actually have that thing replace the T-Rex. And faster synthesis. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. It's going to be done in 34 seconds. Awesome. So let's go over to our hatchery over here, and let's go place down or start synthesizing the Indominus. Or not Indominus, Gigantosaurus. Where's that at on this? G. Man, I don't know my alphabet. There it is right there. <laughs> Well, we don't have the sciences available right now, but I just kind of want to synthesize it and see what we got going on over here. So, ooh, look at all the skin colors. Now, we've we've always done like randomized or whatever. I feel like that makes more sense if we have like a big pack of critters, right? Like if we have something like a Gigantosaurus, which is probably just going to be a batch size of one, we're only going to get one, right? Just like the Indominus. And I know I know with, with the T-Rex, we did get two of them that one time. So maybe we can get two Gigantosaurus from one batch. I'm not 100% sure, but it does seem like one where we only get one batch or one per batch, right? Um, I do want to maybe manually select a color, and I like this orange color right here. It's really menacing. If there was like a dark red like we had for the Megalosaurus last episode, that would be really cool. We got this big purple so we can look like Barney or something like that, like Barney the Dinosaur. I don't know if I actually want to do that. I kind of want to get this orange, kind of like not really sand, but a little bit more. See, this is more sand right there. I'm like, it's literally called Death Valley. But I like this this orange color right here. It's, it's the closest you can get to a menacing red color than a patterns. Ooh. With like the dark gray slash black stripes. Oh, that could look real cool. Yeah, let's get that. 
then uh, we have large appetite. Uh, is that really that big of a deal though? What else do we have over here? Intolerant. Yeah, you know what? Let's at least cancel that out. And then a large appetite. Not even that big of a deal. Let's get some resilience because this is going to be a pretty uh pretty high appeal critter. So we want to make sure it don't get you know it's not susceptible to disease and all the kind of jazz, right? Long lived. It's already got 25% chance. So hey, I don't know. Maybe we get a 50% and a uh, large appetite. I don't know. Let's cancel that out just so we have no negative traits over here. Except for maybe aggressive, but we can't really do anything about that anyways, right? And uh, yeah, we still have fit. We need to release a dinosaur that has unfit and then we can research that and then uh, start modifying that, right? But social, antisocial. Um, I assume that Gigantosaurus, like the T-Rex, would be able to coexist with the Compies. So I assume it's fine. I don't know if I need to give it any social, uh, like, like, like a 25% chance of being social. I guess I could, because like, what else am I going to put this stuff on, right? Resilience, 50% chance. I can make that 75% social, humble. I think I'm going to I'm going to make resilient 75%. There you go. Cool. So that's all modifications applied. It's going to be a 1.1 million dollar uh, synthesis batch, whatever you want to call it right there. So that's going to be fine once we actually have those fossils done. And they're going to be done in uh, 20 seconds, actually, with uh, three times speed right there. So we're going to be done here pretty quick. Oh, storm warning. Uh Oh, yeah. Speaking of storm and a uh, new viable genome for the terrain on. And I believe the new complete genome for the Geostone Bergia now, right? Is that? Yep, yep, new complete genome. Perfect. Open all shelters. There it is right there. Uh, hold on, hold on. I hear the storm. Oh my gosh, why is there always a tornado? Okay, at least it's going through the uh, empty quarantine area over here, so that, that's that's good, I guess. Seems like there might be some holes in the fencing over there, but it also seems like, yeah, it looks like our whole heckin' power went down right there, you guys, because it's going through Power City over here, too, so that's really bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to manually go into the storm and heckin' bring it back up. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the rangers. Where are they at? Uh, there we go, direct control. I guess I have to go into the eye of the storm and repair all the buildings myself. Hold on, can we even make it over there? I don't know. There's the heckin' storm right there. I don't know, because we, we've gotten thrown around with storms and stuff in the past. Why are you guys not going into a heckin' emergency shelter? Jeez! They're literally just standing around. Here we go, yeah, repair the innovation center. Start repairing all the fences and stuff like that over here as well as try- Ah, oh, I'm getting pushed around! No! Holy heck, I can't do a thing! I can't control! Oh, is this thing did Okay, well, this thing's damaged as well, so yeah, start repairing that as well. I can't even hear myself speak right now, you guys. There you go. Okay, let's see. Are these damaged over here? Okay, yep, yeah, there you go. That's that's damaged. Let's fix that back up. Any of these uh, power plants damaged? Doesn't look like it. Seems like it might be just the pylons or something that's actually damaged. So, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it was damaged. Okay, cool. Start repairing that. Repair the uh, pylon substation, etc. over here. Whoops. Man, I've... Literally a tornado over the innovation center. Jeez. Wait, no, it's the bathroom that got damaged right there. The staff center right there damaged as well. There you go. Okay, cool. So, uh, is, is, is the whole, is the whole part still offline or? Yeah, it is. Hold on. Yeah, what happened? Is it because of that? Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, so that, that goes into there and then. Well, this is still offline over here too. I guess I need to repair that too. Hold on. Yeah. Let me go over here to the right control. Repair that pylon right there. There you go. Repairs, uh, complete. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of buildings damaged right now. We've got dead dinos all over the place. I can't assign these, uh, rangers to do anything, unfortunately, because they can, everything's offline, so I have to do it manually, <laughs> which really sucks. But, uh, let's, let's repair the gates, all that kind of jazz. Try and repair the pylon. There you go. I can't go up this, because it's technically outside of bounds, which is kind of weird, but let's see if I can go over here and maybe repair this, uh, other part of the fence. I don't think I... Uh, and then, hey, look at that. Expedition complete. Okay, cool. So we have our uh, very first plesiosaur fossils, which is going to be good, but... Did I repair all these? I think so. Okay, good. Everything online over here? Okay, looks like things have gone uh, back online. That's good. Seems like the storm has passed. And let's actually uh, reopen up all the shots. Or, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's not do that just yet. Hold on, is that a copy? Okay, it is a copy. Okay. That died of old age. Uh, there you go. Uh, oh, yeah, because it's paused. Uh, but I, I do not want the... Yeah, died of old age. Where's the other one at, man? Uh... See. Oh, God. oh yeah, all the heckin' raptors escaped, too. <laughs> I forgot about that. Man, I, I said something about, like, reinforcing that, and I completely forgot to do that, guys. Golly. Uh, so, anyways, gotta knock all these guys out, I suppose. So, uh, get all the raptors knocked out. There you go. Are they all, uh, escaped? Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, Blue is in there just sleeping. Okay, that's good. Good thing Blue didn't actually escape right there, so that's great. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me take care of the aftermath of the second storm. <laughs> I know you guys have already seen this like 4,000 times, so you guys don't need to see it again, right? But yeah, let me just repair all the buildings. Let me patch up all the broken fences, all that kind of jazz. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. And I'm also in the background going to start processing those uh, plesiosaur fossils as well as maybe go on an expedition for 
uh, ichthyosaurus fossils too. And look, there's a dead body right there. That's not my problem. Get that out of view before all the lawyers see him. And uh, there's literally a dino right there. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much mayhem around here. Anyways, like like I said, let me just take care of all this uh, nonsense around here, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, back. Just got a pop up right here saying, yeah, we have a million dollars of income per minute, 400,000 profit per minute, which is crazy good. And uh, yeah, last time we left off, I don't, I don't know what I was doing, but I did synthesize that Gigantosaurus that we built and we actually have a batch size of two and we were lucky enough to get two eggs right here. But unfortunately, one of them has aggressive right here and I'm very much debating. Do I want to get both of them? Because the other one has resilient and nocturnal. No, no negative traits at all. So I don't know. Yeah, I really don't like it because it says dislikes and threatens all other species. So if we're going to put it in the same area as the compies, I don't know, because I'm like the T-Rex never really fought with the compies. It's way too big, right? So I don't know. Should we do it? Because we've got we got good money. It also has long lived and resilient, too, which are pretty good. I don't know. And they're both going to be that, that like orange color as well. So that, that's very interesting there as well as I did do a batch over here of what are they called? Geostermbergus. We actually have two of them over here, resilient and uh, nothing right there. But uh, oh, I set them to random uh, colors and they still got the same. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure I set it to random. Uh, but either way, I guess we'll uh, there you go. We'll actually uh, incubate all these. So we have a cheaper incubation guy right here to save us a little bit of money. Right. And uh, there you go. It's going to be done in four minutes, 30 seconds. I'm very much debating if I want to have that, that that Gigantosaurus over there. Just one of them or both of them. And we have the uh, expedition for the ichthyosaurus here in just a minute. That's going to be done pretty soon. So that's going to be great. As well as the Hwayangosaurus guy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ranger team just got uh, destroyed right there. And now we have another uh, injury, I'm sure, right? The T-Rex probably has an injury. Yeah. Surface wounds. I think that's, uh, yeah, it's a minor injury. So MVU should be able to take care of them. So that's going to be great. Nothing major there. But we did have a major injury with the Hwayangosaurus. And it looks like uh, Hwayangosaurus is, oh, wait, no, it's 40 minutes left or 40 seconds left. Whatever that is. Uh, oh, expedition. That's what that is right there. Yeah, seems like the ichthyosaurus did come back or the fossils did come back. So it's actually uh, process all said fossils. So there's the ichthyosaurus right there. So uh, oh, and then there's another thing right there. What is the best? I guess we will start with the force. There you go. And then we'll do another four if we can slip one in. Yeah, there it is right there. Cool. I also did uh, process some of the metriocanthosaur or metria canthosaurus. Uh, fossils over here so we're already up to 89 percent on its genome just because it's i'm like we had it combo dealed with the uh plesiosaur so nothing i could do about that right but uh, i guess we'll have to do a second batch over here of the ichthyosaurus but just right off the bat these these fossils right here are taking up to 94 percent so it looks like we're not going to need to go on another expedition to get those remaining fossils because we have these right here right so this is going to be great let's actually assign scientists to this take care of this as well as, uh, I guess we'll just generally wait, especially for the uh, Geostenbergia incubation over there. It's going to be done in about three and a half minutes, so we'll have to play the waiting game there, and I guess that's going to be a good thing. We're going to continue to pile up money, which is going to be great. And it looks like the Hwayangosaurus is uh, treated now. It's able to come out, because, yeah, the Hwayangosaurus always heckin' fights with the other ones, so, yeah, they're always getting injured, just like the uh, Draco Rexes and stuff, though, so uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, but for the Gigantosaurus over here, yep, yeah, I'm very much thinking about just getting one. So yeah, whenever we have the money, whenever or uh, whenever we have the scientists, we have the money right now. It's 1.7 million. Uh, whenever we have the scientists freed up to do that, then uh, I guess we'll do the singular Gigantosaurus without the. Or I'm like, it is the end of the scenario. I kind of made my mind up right there, but now I'm going back again. <laughs> 3.4 million. Yeah, we still need the same amount of scientists. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Let's heck and splurge and spend all that money, right? We've got 13 million in the bank. Might as well spend it with some crazy heckin' dinos, right? So that's going to be great. Uh, but like I said, we're going to have to wait on that Geostermberg get done in about two minutes. So I'll see you guys here in just a sec once the Geostermberg is are done. All right, guys, back. Already got a head start on the Gigantosaurus over here. And yeah, I did. I did start uh, incubating both of those. So now we have two of those bad buzz on the way right now, which is going to be great. And uh, the T-Rex the is actually getting pretty up there in the age. So I wouldn't be surprised if it like dropped dead like right now. So we might want to actually start knocking it out and get that thing ready. But we do have some Geostorm Bergens over here to start releasing. So let's release these bad boys. And you guys might have noticed on the bottom right hand corner, the, the Dumorphons, they're all dead now. So <laughs> that's why the species went down to only 10 out of 12. But it's going to go back up to 11 out of 12. And then 12 out of 12 once we release the Ichthyosaurus and the Plesiosaur here in just a minute. Actually, 13 out of 12 at that point. But <laughs> let's release the Geostorm Bergens right now. Oh! Another dead dino, man. We just lost a flying source just a minute ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it's another one, but let's release these guys. I want to see what they look like. Oh, wow. Look at them. Now, of course, they have. Oh, missing four. Oh, okay. Is it fine with only two of them? Looks like it is fine with only two of them, but it looks like maybe I'll get maybe another batch of them. It looks like they want a little bit more force. They filled out. 
almost the entirety of the area. I feel like maybe that forest over there is going to fill it up just for 20, 22, 24%. Yeah, okay, there you go, 25 Okay, so it looks like they're good, 100% over here. Awesome. Don't need to do anything with them, so that's great. So now we have the Tropic, or do we still have them? I forget if we still have the uh, Tropic Nathus or Nathus, whatever it is. Just uh, no wait, no, Sundaripterus. That's what we have now. So I assume that they're friendly with each other, right? Sundaripterus. And like it says, it likes nothing but it just dislikes Doctor Who hybrids. And then if we go to the new Gistonbergia, it says uh likes Tyrandon, loves to drop Yagnathus. Okay, so I don't know, I guess maybe we'll get some Tyrandons in here uh as well. I suppose it wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Just because the uh cohabitation still has some some little bit of room right there for other creators and stuff, and the population. Maybe I'll get another, like I said, maybe another batch of Gistonbergias. But it uh, looks like the giant sources are finishing up right now as we speak, as well as I'm doing the research finally for advanced training for the Rangers and the uh, the paleomedic facility. Fine, a heck of a right? So anyways, let's get the giant sources and let's release them. Let's drop them off all the way over here in the T-Rex area. Boom and boom. Transmission. Mission complete. We did it. We did it, you guys. I didn't even release the light plur or a <laughs> please. He's order right? like that yet. I'll still release them anyways. I'll still release them even though we finished the mission here, you guys. I guess we'll hit continue, and is it going? I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure after this, maybe I'll play a cutscene, and then we'll be able to continue playing. I, I guess we'll see. Let's see what happens. Oh wait, no, there's no cutscene at all. We're just going back into the game. Okay, well, <laughs> we finished the main mission right there, which is good. Uh, oh, it was a copy that died. Yeah, I'm not too surprised by that. I might need to make another batch of those guys here pretty soon. I would not be too surprised. But let's actually get the capture team here to knock out the T-Rex, unless we want to like keep him over here on purpose. Uh, yeah, I don't know where he is. Hold on. Uh, and then, yeah, we have vehicle upgrades and stuff. Uh, let's actually do, let's see, slots, task scheduling, advanced training. Let's do this. Yeah, improves accuracy with the uh, dart rifle. So that's going to be really good for the paleo medical facility as well as up here. Let's do advanced training right there. Hold on, advanced training or advanced scanners? Yeah, advanced training, that's fine. Uh, scan dinosaurs. Decrease the time to scan dinosaurs by night. That's insane. Hold on, how do I get the uh, other slot over here, though? Hold on. Additional upgrade slot. I kind of want to check on that because that's actually really, really crazy. Which one is it? This one? Man, that's the wrong one. It's F4. I need to hit the right button. <laughs> oh, here it is right here. Yeah. Upgrade slots. So we need to get the uh, vehicle upgrade, which would be this one, right? Yeah, we need to get this one for 2 million and then we can get this one over here. So uh, for all the guys. Yeah, you know what? For the Rangers over here, after team, rifle accuracy. I guess for these guys, maybe advanced scanners would be fine. Instead of the advanced training, improves accuracy with the dart rifles. Maybe I'll get scanners instead. So there you go. Then uh, over here with the Velociraptors that always heck can escape. Then uh, oh another dead die. Golly. Uh, but with the Velociraptors over here, I guess it would make sense to get the uh advanced uh, uh advanced training right there, right? So that, that seems good there. Then same thing here with the Paleo Medical Facility. We'll do advanced training there too. Test scheduling. Don't think we need that though. Increases the number of, yeah, yeah, let's do it uh, advanced train right there. And let me do that to all the uh Paleo Medical and Ranger teams over here. Uh for this one though. What do we want to do? Advanced scanner, advanced training? For, yeah, you know what? Because there's a lot of stuff around here. Let's do advanced scanners. So they go by a little bit faster. We might have already had that uh, available previously, but at least now we have the uh, advanced training, which is going to knock them out a little bit faster, right? So uh, that's going to be good. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's just going to, like, I guess if they're injured or whatever, they'll be able to shoot them a little bit uh, more accurately with the healing medication, right? So uh, that's going to still be good. Either way, uh, so what is this dead dino copy there? I guess, yeah. Okay, well, let, let me look at this map. Where is the uh, T-Rex out on this? Oh, he's all the way back there. Okay, so let's get the capture team. To come over here and knock him out. Oh, he's hiding. Yeah, he's hiding in the trees. So, yes, yeah, knock him out. And then I guess while that's happening in the background, we can actually come over to here and start incubating uh, or synthesizing the ichthyosaurus and the plesiosaurus. Let's do that, you guys. Let's start with this guy here, the ichthyosaurus, the little dolphin guy. So it looks like it's intolerant and weak. We might, we might want to cancel that out. Let's get some random over here. Uh, I guess, yeah, you know what? I guess we'll have him here in the same area as the Mosasaurus, like I said. He's going to be friendly with uh, small and medium, I guess, marine reptiles, but not large ones. Uh, so, yeah, let's do a uh, random over here. Whoa, look at that yellow right there. I guess you can't really see that too well there. I forgot what our uh, Mosasaurus like, patterns and stuff like that are. I guess we could check. But uh, intolerant, tolerant, let's at least cancel that out. And then weak, let's, let's cancel that out. So we have three left over. Maybe we'll get uh, resilience. Always love getting resilience to make sure I don't get sick and stuff, right? So social tolerant. Maybe we get a little bit of social there, sure. There you go, sure. Uh, that should be fine. Only 81,000 to uh, synthesize that. That's going to be really cheap. Plesiosaur next. Unfit. Ooh, I can't I can't do anything about that. But because we're going to be releasing something with unfit, now we can finally research the fit gene after this, right? So that's actually going to be pretty good. Uh, so let's see. Antisocial. Yeah, let's take care of this. Uh, to at least cancel that out. But then again, it's going to be in its own enclosure, I think, right? So do we really need that at that point? I don't know. 
to get a little bit of resilience. I always like that. Like, I always like having that. Actually, has a small appetite for such a huge critter. That's actually kind of surprising. And then, uh, humble, all this kind of stuff, combat. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it resilience and, uh, long lived. Yeah, let's give it 50% chance of long lived alongside the 50% chance of resilience. Sure. 211. That's actually really, really cheap, you guys. Holy heck. Anyways, science scientist over here still has an unfit, but I can't do anything about that. So that kind of sucks. So science scientists. And let's actually do faster synthesis and genetic specialist. Um, I guess we'll just get the this guy and just get one of them. Or yeah, you know what? Let's get you. And then I guess you. Yeah, minute 48. Just because I want to do two batches over here, right? So we'll do that. And then we'll do Ithiosaurus for the other one. And then he could be with the faster synthesis guy. And I guess you and you. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Just because all these other ones, yeah, they need they need to take a bit of a rest. So let's give these scientists, whoops, uh, this button, this one, two. There you go. We need to give these guys, scientists, a bit of a rest. So there you go. And everyone's doing something right now, except for this guy, Davis. So <laughs> I guess he's basically taking a rest right now, just not officially. So anyways, uh, yeah, still that dead copy. Then here's the uh, Ranger Jeep that needs to be repaired. <laughs> it's probably going to get heckin' destroyed here pretty soon. But did the uh, capture team, are they, where are they at? I want them to knock out that T-Rex. I don't know if they knocked him out yet, because over here, yeah, we're, we're dropping off those two Gigantosaurus. Boom and boom. Here's the other one right here. Holy heck. Oh, wait, no, that's the T-Rex right there. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, well, there's the T-Rex. Okay, so he got knocked out, which is good. So let's sell the dinosaur. We're getting $98,000 right there. I'm like, he's literally about to die. So, hey, <laughs> at least we're getting a little bit of money out of him, right? But we just dropped off. Yep. Gigantosaurus. Now, how's he look? We gave him like what black striped with like reddish orange uh, skin color. Well, it is nighttime right now, so you can't really see too well. But uh, if we look at, yeah, see, he doesn't like the uh, T-Rex. Uh, so I'm like, we're getting rid of him here pretty soon. But it seems like he likes to copy, though, because he has a little check mark right there. So that's good. And yeah, yeah, it even outright says likes comps of Ganathus. So that's actually really good right there, you guys. So it's on pause. And uh, is his friend over here yet or? Oh, there's there's his friend all the way there in the background. OK, so we're going to be dropping off his friend here pretty soon. Uh, he seems fine on his own, though, so that, that's good. Cohabitation's at 101% and then open space force. I feel like that's going to fill out pretty soon here. Yeah, look at that. It's already, every, everything's, everything's good right now, except for the cohabitation, which is going to take care of itself, basically, right? Like, once all the heckin' copies, all the extra copies just die. But it looks like the Ichthyosaurus batch just finished up, which is, oh, oh my gosh, look at the second guy. Blocking the gyrosphere path right here. Oh my gosh, imagine being in that gyrosphere. <laughs> and then he very... Nicely moves out of the way so they can continue by. <laughs> Jeez. All right, the other one passed by yet, or uh, hold on. Oh, there, yep, there. All right, you get dropped off yet, and yep, there he is. Cool. So it looks like yeah, missing open space. I guess his his territory isn't. Uh, yeah, it's over there. Why is there uh, open space down? Oh, they want three prey. Pretty sure there's another prey thing over here though. Pretty sure I put down like two or three prey. Oh, oh my gosh! They just pin that jeep up against the wall and it's sideways now. Oh my gosh. Jeez, they destroyed that. <laughs> Buy a new vehicle. Yeah, I'm not surprised that thing got heckin' destroyed immediately there. This has got to be the aggressive one, right? Hold on, where is it? How do I check? No, it's not. This is actually the regular one. This is the... Hold on, a major injury? Come on. Man, he just got dropped off and he's already got a major injury. Ah, oh, man. Our lad task. There you go. Then, uh, I don't know if we have any scientists available, uh, which we're probably going to have here pretty soon with all the sleeping that's going on. Uh, boy, yeah, we'll probably not, yeah. We finished the synthesis over here, so now we need to incubate. So we actually had a batch size of six. Only two of them survived for the plesiosaurus. That kind of sucks. Uh, unfit. OK, well, at least you know what? Yeah, we need to release it anyway, so we can actually research the fit gene and make sure we can, uh, you know, start modifying that gene finally, because that's the only gene we can't modify right now. But uh, the other one has long lived. So that's actually really good. They both have long lived plus 30 percent expected lifespan. So that's great. And then uh, that one has resilient. This one doesn't have resilient, but I'll still uh, incubate both of them anyways. So let's do that. Uh, we have cheaper incubation guy over here. Let's use him on this guy. Wait, where is he at? Oh, he must be. Uh, I think he's one of the ones that is currently resting right now. So let's, let's take a second here to wait for the uh, scientist to finish resting up. And yeah, he's getting knocked out right now, which is good. And there's another. Did I never uh, tell them to get rid of that dead, dead, dead cop right there. I guess not. Seems like, yep, they just knocked him out right there. Good. Let's take him over to the hospital now. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive because I'm like, it is a gigantic source. It's going to be super expensive nonetheless, but uh, I guess we'll get you and cheaper research guy. So there you go. Cool. So hopefully I, I don't even know how much, how much I spend right there. I don't know. We still have 12.6 million in the bank though. So <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much, but let's get the uh, plesiosaurus. Can I, uh, can I do this here? Uh, cheaper incubation guy. Yep. There he is right there. Okay, cool. So we're going to save a little bit of money right there, which is good. And uh, yeah, 450, $455 dollars right there. And then for the ichthyosaurus, we got, wow, batch size of eight, viable eggs of eight, only a 75% chance of expected survival rate. So actually surprised that we got all of them right there. 
And uh, do we have any bad ones? We do have a bad egg right there, aggressive. Yeah, you know what? Let's just skip out on that. We have seven good eggs here. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get uh, get rid of that aggressive one. But we have a pretty good variety of different colors. Like look at that, Yukon River, Amazon Rainforest, Mangrove Forest. It's like a purple. There's like a dark gray, Svalbard, Gambia River. That's like a red. I'd... Oh, same thing here. That would have been really good with the Gigantosaurus. And then that one's the actual Gigantosaurus color right there, Sonoran Desert. So anyways, uh, staff is busy right now, so I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit. Uh, probably once they're done with the Gigantosaurus. But let's check them on the cohabitation and all the kind of stuff. Yeah, seems. wait, hold on. Okay, well, they're still talking about the two out of three prey, so it looks like I only have two prey things. So let's get another one over here, I suppose. So uh, where do I have? I think I have one over here underway. and over here. So I guess we'll maybe let's put one back here then, right? So there you go. Put one back there, and now we have three out of three, and now we're 100% on the Gigantosaurus. Awesome! So hold on, let me, let me double check on said Gigantosaurus. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, it's getting lighter outside so we can see him a little bit better. Holy heck, look at that. That would have been so cool if we started the T-Rex just a little bit, so I can see the size comparison between him. Between him and the T-Rex, right? Holy heck, is he stuck in a tree right now? Oh wait, okay, there you go. I was about to say, is he glitched? But uh, yeah, seems like he's fine right now, which is good. Population of two. Yeah, I don't know what that all that cohabitation nonsense was about just a minute ago. That's kind of weird. This was like 90 something percent and then now it's down to zero. So who knows what that's about? Maybe all the copies are on the other side of the uh, area. <laughs> now it's not messing with this cohabitation thing. But over here, uh, how long is this going to take a minute? Uh, OK, so about a minute, we'll be able to incubate all those other ichthyosaurs. And uh, speaking of incubating, we're still incubating the plesiosaurs. So hopefully they're going to be done here pretty soon. So you guys know the drill. Let me just play the waiting game and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Yeah, look at him spraying on that Gigantosaurus right there, all that healing spray. Right? There's even like rainbows. You guys see that? You just barely see some like rainbow effects right there. Interesting little bit of detail. I never noticed that before. So anyways, let's go drop off the other one over here near the water. There you go. Cool. I guess I'll check up on him again here in just a minute uh, to see if they still have that cohabitation thing once they're actually both in there again. But for right now, uh, Plesiosaur is about halfway done, and then the Ichthyosaurus. Now we should be able to incubate all of them except for that aggressive one, so that's going to be good. Social resilient, small appetite, resilient, resilient, small appetite, and social right there. Okay, pretty good traits overall, not bad. And uh, let's actually get these guys to take care of them. Cool. And yeah, I can only do three, so that's that's about as good as that's going to get. So it's, it's going to be a five minute incubation over here for 875,000. Probably should have used the cheaper incubation guy over here, but eh, what are you going to do, right? Hindsight's 2021. Anyways, let's just let that happen in the background. And then the plesiosaurs are going to be done here in just a little bit under two minutes. So once again, let me play the waiting game and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, Gigantosaurus again. Cohabitation is still at zero, so I don't know what that was uh, all about earlier. Very strange. And then the other one's over here in the trees and stuff. Cool. Oh, yep, he's drinking water. Can't really see him because he's in the trees. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Man, I don't know why I keep zooming out like that every time they get in the trees like that. But either way, is he stuck? He's not moving. I don't know. Anyways, park profit and all that kind of stuff went up by 2% right there. That's actually kind of surprising. And it looks like the uh, plesiosaurs are going to be done here in just a minute, you guys. Or actually 10 seconds, so we'll speed through that. Then we'll actually go airdrop them over to that other lagoon. And ba-boom! Incubation completed for the plesiosaurs. Awesome. So let's release them via airlift over to here to the other lagoon. And I guess we'll drop one there and then the other one over there. Cool! Transmission. Oh, whoa, whoa! Choose a oh, yeah, yeah, whenever you beat the main mission for the Chaos Theory, they always give you, like, random contracts and stuff, so... Uh, modify di dinosaurs genome in a specific way. Increase the number of dinosaurs in the park. Photograph your dinosaur. That could be fun. I guess we that could be a cool thing we could do in the background, I suppose, right? So photographing the dinosaurs. Prove you have what it takes and review this latest objective. All right. Yeah, see, it's nothing too serious. It's just kind of a thing that you could do. I hope you're good at taking pictures because we need some. Just point the camera at the dinosaurs and say, Goat cheese! Goat cheese. Man, just barely caught that Mosasaurus eating another shark right there. That was crazy good. Do we need a... F I don't, yeah, we do need feeders over here for him. Yeah. So we have the, the shark feeder there for the uh, Mosasaurus, of course, right? But we also need to get... Um, let's see. Marine fish feeder. I'm sure we need that for the... Li or uh, please just I'm sure we need something like that over here, right? And as well as for the Ichthyosaurus. So I guess if we do the same thing here, so that's there. I guess we can put the Ichthyosaurus like here. Ichthyosaurus feeder. Just so put that there. Uh, just as a general fish feeder for them to eat, right? So that should be fine. Uh, if that's even what they eat, because marine fish feeder and then marine shark feeder. There's only two of them right there. I don't know what else we could put in there, right? So <laughs> that should be pretty good. Then uh, for the plesiosaur over here, I guess we get the same thing. I don't know where we're going to put it, though. I guess so maybe like right here, especially right next to that thing right there. So that'd be pretty cool. And I guess maybe we put one over here as well. 
Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's put one on both sides right there. Cool. So now, now whenever they're actually feeding, they're going to be pretty close to the food galleries, right? So that's going to be great. So anyways, they're dropping off. Wait, hold on. What? The, the plesiosaur is teeny tiny. I thought that was like way bigger. What in the world? So was that, that might have been able to coexist with the uh, Mosasaur. I would not be surprised if it was able to coexist because that's got to be a small marine reptile, right? Maybe medium. I don't know. Look, look at that. I Maybe mean, it's just because I'm so used to how huge the Mosasaur is. And is that the other one? Yep, that is the other one. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what it looks like underwater. Look at him! Come on, I thought that was going to be way bigger. Is that because they are like huge in arc? And I'm just, this is a little bit more accurate to real life or something? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, uh, they're, they're, they need a little bit more open area. But uh, have they have they already discovered the, uh? Ooh, oh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. So what are they actually classified as? It's just, yeah, it says marine reptile. They need a little bit of bigger area here, it says. Just a little bit bigger. Open space and then area there isn't good. Man. But they do have the fish feeders, which is good, too. So that's great. Cohabitation's fine. <sighs> They're always going to be stuck at 83% comfort right there, unfortunately. But I assume that they, they count as small marine reptiles, which is what this guy would like. But he dislikes the larger. So I guess maybe that would be the Attenboroughsaurus and whatever the other one was that starts with the E, I think. I guess. So maybe would this be fine in the same enclosure? Let me just check this real quick. Dislikes small marine reptiles, though. So it dislikes itself. So I guess... Hold on. We might need to switch the Ichthyosaurus. Put the Ichthyosaurus there and then maybe put the uh, uh, ple Plesiosaur over here. That might be what we need to do. And speaking of such, yeah, here they are right here. Um, I wish I could check, like, their stats or whatever. Oh, yeah, they're not done just yet. I wish I could check their stats and all that kind of stuff right now, but I can't, unfortunately. So that really sucks. Uh, Storm Defense. I guess I could do that. I'm like, we're, this is towards the end of the playthrough anyways, or a scenario anyways, right? So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but... Uh, well, it does say open. It says open space. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Security five, all that kind of stuff. I guess we'll just release them into here. And if I need to move them over, I suppose maybe I can. So I guess we'll just release them here. See what this looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so epic! Man, that was really cool. Okay, yeah, they're miss missing the fish, but I'm pretty sure yeah, we have one right there. Area. Open space, it's going to start, yep, starting to update right now, already at 73, 75, it was 73, now it's 74. <laughs> Area, is that 0.74? Hold on, so, yeah, that, that seems like it's going to be good once they discover all that over there. But, uh, let's see, how, how big of an area is this technically, does it say? Yeah, okay, this area is 1.23. Seems like they would be, the ichthyosaur, this seems like they're going to be fine over here, honestly. They're starting to panic, they're missing open space. Area one point. Oh wait, no, yeah, one point one two, or one point two two, one point two nine. Is it one point five? And they still need open space, right? Have they just got? Yeah, they still haven't discovered all that. So I want to speed through this. There you go. They're starting to. Their territory starting to expand over here, which is good. And it looks like they're good. Okay. So that, that's great. So it looks like the ichthyosaurus is fine, which is awesome. But it just looks like the plesiosaur isn't like super duper happy with its situation right now, unfortunately, right? And uh, let's see. Okay, dislikes other marines. So if I did put these guys in the same area as the police where they definitely would have, uh, like, maybe fought and killed each other or something like that, right? But because they're in the same area as the Mosasaur over here, which is heckin' huge. Like, look at this thing. Like, god heckin' Lee. Jeez. <laughs> at least it gets along with the, uh, small marine reptiles, right? So that's good. Like small marine reptiles. Has a check mark next to the Ichthyosaurus right there, which is good. So that does confirm they are indeed small marine reptiles, so that's good, but... Really, things right here with the Plesiosaur haven't having just, just barely not enough space. But then they're so small and they're at eighty three percent comfort. Man, I don't think I'd be able to modify this to be any bigger. Like maybe maybe I could put one like right here. I doubt it. I don't think so. I could check, but mm, well, I probably could if I got rid of the pathway there. That could probably work. I'm like I can't fit it anywhere else because I'm like maybe get rid of that. And then this goes straight into the Indominus area, so... Oh, wait, hold on. What happened here? Why is this guy injured? Minor injury from combat? What happened? Why is he injured from the combat? Hold on. Let me get Ranger, or uh, MVU over here. Did we ever assign them over here? Yeah, we did. Okay, well, yeah, okay. It looks like, yeah, they're already... So they're on their way. Do they have, like, a drone over here? Oh, hold on, hold on. Is that a drone? Oh, I think I see a drone up there. Look at that. Look at that. Just like an underwater drone. Hold on. Look at that. There's a submarine. I knew it. That's why he's not moving. 
He's getting treated by the submarine drone. It's paused right now. Cool. Look at that. That is so cool. I didn't know that. I was so curious about it. There's like a little camera there and like a little nozzle where the <laughs> little healing darts shoot at him, right? Cool. Never saw that until now. Glad that we got to see it here at the end of the Chaos Theory, right? So that's good. And he got healed up, which is awesome. So I wonder if they could uh, attack the, the little underwater drone like that. That'd be pretty interesting if they could, just like the heck and <laughs> Indominus and T-Rex always attack their drones, right? I guess we'll just end off the episode right here and therefore the Chaos Theory right here, right? As another heckin' Indominus destroys yet another heckin' Ranger Jeep, right? Golly. <laughs> and of course he's taking a nap right afterwards, too. Me, 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 me. Just destroyed another Ranger Jeep. Me, 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 me. Huh? What? Oh, I was thinking about Ranger Jeeps. And I had to get up and defend myself against them. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I guess we'll just end off the episode right here. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit of a longer episode, but hey, at least we finished up all the missions here for the Chaos Theory Jurassic World, right? Definitely a different uh, scenario from the movie where at least the, the Indominus never escaped once, I guess. That's a good thing, right? Wait, what? Oh, the Gigantosaurus destroyed another Heckin' Ranger Jeep. Man. Ah, yeah, it has got to be the aggressive one or whatever. I'm losing so many Heckin' Ranger Jeeps over here, you guys is insane. <laughs> Losing so much money, but then again, we have 18 million. When did I get that much money? Jeez. But either way, like you keep saying, uh, pretty successful chaos theory over here, right? Uh, filled out a pretty good amount of the park. Like, look, look at all this over here. I didn't think I'd be able to fill out all this, but we used almost all the space. Small little area over here in this corner right there, not really used. Small little area there, a little bit right here, back here a little bit too. But hey, we, we used a lot, up a lot of space over here. Pretty cool little like plus shape pattern that we got going on over here, like flower petals or however you want to describe it. You've got to admit, we have a pretty heckin' successful uh, park over here, you guys. Really, really cool. Definitely learned a lot during this Chaos Theory scenario, and of course, I had a lot of fun too, and I hope you guys did as well. So, let me just save the game, and we can start looking forward to the next one. And here we are, back into the main menu. You can look at the Chaos Theory right here. We're at 80% done. Now, all we need to do is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Chaos Theory, which I guess we're going to be doing next episode, so definitely stay tuned for that. Return to Isla Nublar. Return to Isla Nublar and the remnants of Jurassic World. Mount Sebo lays dormant. Help Claire and the DPG to give the dinosaurs their freedom. All right, that sounds pretty funny, guys. Definitely look forward to that next episode where we're going to be going into the final Chaos Theory scenario. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Chaos Theory comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time for some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Oh, bye there. <laughs>